Yeah, obviously, you know, disappointing loss. Uh, you know, on a night where we guarded and rebounded, we uh, didn't do a good job at the foul line, and we had some ridiculous, ridiculous turnovers. Um, so, you know, we just haven't shown the mental ability to close close games, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, you know, 10 for 23 for the foul line. That's not intentional, obviously, but we got there. We had really good foul shooting, foul shooting guys statistically missing. They had guys in the 40s and 50s made them, you know. Um, and then just careless, careless turnovers. You'll see on the last side of bounds where Justin Gorham was wide, wide open. Um, we panicked and threw it away, you know. Um, so, you know, I... Uh, I know our older guys really wanted to win tonight. Obviously, their last performance here. Um, but I think there's the the what's what's totally uh, hampered us has been our mental ability to close ball games. I mean, we're going to be in them. We're going to play hard, try to prepare. But it, it takes, unfortunately, it takes a little bit more than that. And you know, you could. I mean, how many of these have we had? We've usually a lot, unfortunately. You know, and. One night it's where are we defensively? You know, we got a defense that's at the foul line, and you know, silly, silly turnovers. It's hard to quarterback. It was six turnovers a lot, and and it's really more. That Justin got hit with one that wasn't his, and you know, just some mind-boggling um, plays. I mean, you look at the statistics, Matt. Right, holding the forty percent, shoot forty-six, pretty good. Win by six in the glass, but foul shooting turnovers is just not a. Not a good combination. Some good efforts. Thought Justin played well. Zane really rallied in the second half. Um, his defense was good. Thought Jordan gave us a big boost. Um, you know, it's funny. It's senior day, so you really try to ride a couple of your seniors um, because you want them to have that big moment. It just it, it didn't didn't work out that way. Thought. I thought he did a great lift for us. He's had a good year for us. He's played hurt all year. He gets it. He gets it. Um, he'll only get better. Um, you know, he, he's, um, you know, if I could do it over again, I, I would have probably played Dennis and Jordan more and a couple of the guys less. I, uh, you know, but you do try to, especially in this day, uh, you know, look, at you're going to sink or swim with your older guys. And unfortunately, lately, we're sinking more than we're swimming. Yeah, some tough losses too. Tough losses. Like I said, it's not by it's not by design, but it it it, it takes some mental toughness to win close ball games. Normally we've done that. Um, this group we haven't done it. You know, um, so you know if I if I knew how to make us a little bit mentally tougher at the foul line or taking care of ball or not committing a silly foul, I mean we get tied up on a uh, double foul can't happen we're in transition I mean it's just, we're in transition you know just can't it can't happen and it we, we've we've made those type of plays since conference players started and you know it's like the kid that reaches into the cookie jar before dinner he, he gets slapped and it, it hurts and that that's what we we have not learned those lessons we continue especially our older guys we continue to fight that uh, but we don't know we don't get the result so you know you, you you would you would hope that we wouldn't fight some of that, but we continue to. Same with technique. I know Mike used to run it. He shoots the same way. I, I think it's mental. It's percentages are, but you know this is the I think the best foul shooting team we've had um, since I've been here statistically. Now, if you look at our stats in the last five minutes of games, man, it's like 15, 16 percentage points less. We we, we pulled it up uh, like a couple weeks ago. You know. Um, we spend a good clip of practice, especially this time, this day. Uh, you know, in hindsight, you could say not enough time spent at the following. We've lost some tough games at the following with this group. Uh, I think the reality is it's you know being able to focus on that, sticking to your routine, and you know seeing the ball go in the basket. Certainly, guys aren't, aren't trying to miss, but I, you know, I mean, it's I'm not telling you, you've done this a lot too. It's hard when you 10 for 23 jumps off. The, in a one-possession game, 10 for 23 jumps off the page. Ten turnovers in the first half. It seems like you 
getting off to a great start, six to nothing. You had a nice crowd considering the snow was bad. Yeah, yeah, we did. I just silly unforced turnovers. I mean, you know, silly unforced turnovers. I mean, there's no other. How, how else do you ex explain it? Like quarterback throwing six intercepts. You can't. I mean, you can't. I mean, I. You know, it's not. It's it's it it takes some. It, this we talk in a quick turnaround. We talked a lot about that. They'll trap ball screens, um, and we know they changed defense. They played zone in the first half, man in the second half, and we're pretty good against the man. We shot you know, fifty four percent. So we got I thought we got whatever we want. Um, when we get to the foul line. They foul the most of the league, which is a big key. Although you know, in hindsight, I'm not so sure getting the foul line was a good thing for us, but. Yeah, but that's that the one in transition. Brian can't throw that pass. Can't throw that pass to, to him there. I mean that you know, I mean you know, uh, he's yeah. I mean he's just. I mean you know, I don't think he's trying to do that. But it's like once again, he's got to own it too. Like you know, I mean that's he's playing minutes. He's got the ball in his hands. Um, you know, uh, thought his defense was good. Thought his defense was pretty good. But it, it, it's you know, stats. Aren't great, obviously, for the <laughs> for the amount of minutes, you know. Talk about lots of focus, but at least in this game, it's pretty evident that they were engaged the whole time. No, I just trying to. I mean, you know, we've played hard and prepared. I mean, statistically, we're st we're not as good at rebounding a team, but we still have the best rebound margin in the league. That's usually an effort thing. Um, you know, we've got some talented guys. They play hard. We we have not. Uh, and obviously it starts with me. We have not done a good job of winning close ball games for the most part. You know, and look at look at the two teams at the top of the league, Northeastern and Charleston. They've done an outstanding job of winning close ball games. I think as I think about our season, you probably in, unless you're just a special special team, you always have probably a couple nights where you get outplayed. But then what happens with those other eight to ten games? You got to win seven and three to be really good. Not Three and seven, or two and eight, and you know we've been the other way. There's no other way around it. And that's why we're, you know, um, that's why we're at. No one's happy being 18 and 11. I think we've, we we should be better. Um, you know, um, and we'll try to turn the page and hopefully learn from some of these things. The problem is, we've got a couple older guys that it's it's like, uh, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm fighting on some some certain things with them. You know. He did have 35. He was actually contained in the first half for like eight points, but he kind of got going on the second Yeah, he's a good player. I mean, um, you know, normally in this league, the way offenses are, to hold a team to 40%, you feel pretty pretty good about it. I didn't think we got it three well in the first half. We did better in the, in, in the second half. Um, give them credit, though. Uh, Mosley's good. He made a couple big plays. Uh, we had a big left-handed drive, and we had Dennis in. Um, you know, scouting report error. Uh, but the other thing they did good, they made they they uh, they did well. They made foul shots when they got there. I mean, I'm not sure how you know we, oof, you know, that thing sticks out. I mean, 43 percent is not a, not a good number, obviously. Talk about the senior class. Last year you had Moto Davis. You really didn't get right here from that for the most part. Maybe not the most talented class, but a lot of wins when it all. Yeah, I, I think, you know, look at um, this This group has, we, we've got uh, three talented guys, good guys, um, you know, that that, that want to have success. Um, I mean, Mike's potentially a, you know, a Hall of Famer here. You know, he's had a great career, and um, Brian's done a solid job for us as a quarterback. We wanted an older quarterback on last year's team to come in and run it. We needed, we needed a veteran quarterback, and... He's he's obviously been that guy for us, and, and Ed's been. I think of Ed. I think of a guy that's played every position and sacrifice, and he's an emotional guy. Plays pretty hard, you know. I think unfortunately, you know, where, where we probably are a little behind is, um, and, and not with Jarrell because he was a special player, but Damas, um, Burwell, Guthrie, Parker. Um, Davis, even Jamel Flash, like those guys, um, those guys had better leadership skills. You know that that's that's clearly been a challenge. I'm not, you know, with this group. That's why we've had so many of these these tough ones. You know.